Welcome to this digital anarchy tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going over the basics of Beautybox 5 in Final Cut Pro. Beautybox is a skin retouching and smoothing effect that's GPU accelerated for faster rendering and is compatible with the latest versions of Final Cut X. I'm in Final Cut 10.6 for this video. You can find the effect in the video effects in Final Cut under Digital Anarchy, grab it and drag it onto your footage. If you're using the demo of Beauty Box, you'll see these watermark lines over the footage. This is so you can try it out and see if it works for you before you decide to buy it or not. If you purchased Beauty Box and have a license, click the register button in the Beauty Box controls and enter your name and serial number to activate it. Click OK. If you still see the watermark lines, just click over to a different frame and you should see them disappear. Beautybox has two basic steps. First, creating the mask, which figures out what part of the shot to smooth. And second is adjusting how the smoothing looks. The quickest way to use Beautybox is to apply it to a clip and click Analyze Frame. What this is going to do is run face detection algorithms to figure out what the skin tones are and after you click Analyze Frame, you can click the Show Mask checkbox to see what part of the frame Beauty Box detected as skin tones. White areas are included in the mask, and black areas are excluded from the mask, so any white areas are gonna be smoothed and any black areas aren't. If an area is gray, it will get some of the smoothing. You can scroll through the footage to see that the mask tracks the skin tones while the subject moves which makes it easy to apply quickly and you don't have to adjust it frame by frame. This is a really fast way to identify the skin tones and is gonna work for most situations. You can turn off show mask and then adjust the smoothing amount, which determines the intensity of the skin smoothing effect and a lot of the time that's gonna be good enough. You can turn the effect on and off to see the difference between the original clip and the beauty box version and then tweak the smoothing amount. There's also a skin detail smoothing slider, which changes how much individual details on the skin, like pores and lines, are smoothed. You can decrease this to bring back some of the detail that can get lost when increasing the smoothing amount, or increase the skin detail smoothing to wash out some of the details and make the subject look more airbrushed. Finally, there's a contrast enhance slider, which adds contrast and sharpening back to areas where Beauty Box may be smoothing them too much. You can balance these sliders to get a look that you're satisfied with, and you can crank the settings up high for an unrealistic smoothed over look or turn them down for a more subtle effect. Beautybox is designed to let you quickly make a mask and adjust smoothing, or to spend a little more time tweaking the mask settings for a more precise mask. And there are a few ways to do this. One is to change the mode to set color or add color. On set color, you can click on the frame and Beauty Box will use that color to set the mask area. You can see the light and dark colors change when I click on different areas of the frame. Changing the mode to add color will add any colors you click on in the frame to the mask. So you can turn on show mask and click any areas that aren't included in the mask to add those skin tones to the mask. You can click analyze frame or switch the mode back to set color to start over if you add too much. You want to include skin, but not things like hair, eyes, and teeth, or tones that show up in the background. You can adjust the mask further by using these hue range, saturation range, and value range sliders, which you can turn up to increase the area of the mask and turn down to decrease the area of the mask. Use these settings to get your mask as close to where you want it as you can if clicking Analyze Frame isn't accurate enough. You can also use the Final Cut Tracker in Final Cut 10.6 or later, which can automatically detect a face when you drag the Beauty Box effect over the frame. This can be useful if the background color is close to the subject's skin color, which makes it hard to set the mask to just skin tones, or if you have more than one subject in the shot and want the effect on one of them but not the other. We have a video going into more detail about how to do this called Using Final Cut Pro's Face Tracker to do skin retouching with Digital Anarchy's Beauty Box that we'll link to in the description. In addition to smoothing, you can also use the mask that you set to add color correction. 
check the CC mask box if you want the color correction settings you add in the beauty box controls to only affect the mask area. A small adjustment to hue can add a warmer or cooler look to the skin tone. Reducing saturation is one way to remove redness from a subject's face, but not from the rest of the shot. You can also add style presets from the preset dropdown. Or use the shine removal slider to reduce glare reflecting off of your subject's skin. And like with all Final Cut effects, you can adjust the mix slider. Zero means beauty box is doing nothing, and 100 means beauty box is fully applied. And you can set it in between to fine tune the effect and make it more subtle. You'll also want to make sure the Use GPU checkbox in the Beauty Box controls is checked. This means Beauty Box is using your computer's graphics card to speed up rendering. If it's unchecked, Beauty Box will render more slowly. The reason you might want to turn this off is if you're encountering any glitches or issues while using Beauty Box, you can try turning off Use GPU to see if that fixes the problem, and you can send us an email at cs at digitalanarchy.com and we'll help you get it working. Normally it will just work with use GPU on and you won't have to mess with this at all. Thanks for watching. You can download a free trial of BeautyBox by going to the demos page at our website digitalanarchy.com and going to the demos page and email us at sales at digitalanarchy.com if you have any questions.